As far as the new patriotic party rules are concerned, and this came about as a result of the 2007 uh, debacle, if you like. In 2007, 17 members of the new patriotic party, 17 senior members of the party, challenged uh, as it was then, Nana Kufuado, the obvious front runner, as he then was, um, in what was a feisty uh, congress, which had Nana Kufuado and Alan Chamatin ready to go into the second round, and Alan Chamatin conceded defeat to Nana Kufuado, and Nana Kufuado became the elected MPP flag bearer without a second round or caring. After that, the uh, MPP people sat together and felt that they needed something to change here. So they needed to change the number of people who attend the Congress, not attend to vote, but attend to present themselves. Okay, so they decided that five is enough. Five is a maximum number that you can deal with. Therefore, at any point in time in the future when their delegates list or their uh, aspirant list is more than five, they will hold a mini Congress. And in the mini Congress, not all the people will vote. So in the MPP Congress, as it is now with the NDC, it uh, didn't used to be, in the MPP Congress, the people who are voting are the polling station executives. There are 38,000 polling stations across the country. So that brings the number to something like 200,000 and over. 38,000 polling station executives, regional chairmen, um, regional uh, executives, members of parliament, uh, former ministers, if they are not in power, ministers if they are in power, a former president if they are not in power, president when they are in power, all of those people make the number 200,000 200, and over. Now, the superdelegates are about um, a little over 1,000. Now, who are the superdelegates? They are going to make the decision of, of who comes into the last five. So we know that list of 10 of the MPP members, I don't know whether they still have it, but we know we can run through it. It's Dr. Baomi Alan Chematin, Kennedy Japon, Usufri Akoto, Kwabene Japon, Boache Jako, uh, Opoku. Um, uh, oh, remind, remind me, remind me, Mikhail. Uh, I said Boache Jako, I've said Kwabene Japon already. Uh, Adai Nimo, thank you very much. And, uh, and uh, who else? Oh, uh, Usufri Akoto, I've said that already. Okay, well, you know them. You, you know said Jogate. Yeah. Who? Joe Gatti. Joe Gatti, very important. I didn't mention Joe Gatti. Joe Gatti is part of it as well. Okay, so that's it. They have 10. So they are now going to select uh, in Parliament, uh, well, not in Parliament, they are going to select for the super delegates. They are going to reduce the number to five. The people who are voting in the super delegates are very, very strategic. So it includes all the 137 members of Parliament, and it includes all ministers, and it also includes the president, the vice president, and the chief of staff. Okay, tonight we're going to share with you our idea from what we have picked up on our research, and we may be wrong, I mean, this is very subjective, we may be wrong, but we'll tell you why we say this person is going to vote for that person, we'll explain to you, and then you can, you can, you can send a text and tell us what you think. So we begin with the logo of the new patriotic party, blue, white, and, and red, then, Nana Adodanko Akufuado is the president, he has a vote in the superdelegates, we're talking about the superdelegates event occurring on the 6th of August. Uh, he has said that he's not supporting any particular candidate. We therefore do not know. We cannot fathom who he's going to vote for. But we know that he's going to cast a vote. But we don't know who he's going to vote for. So Abna Osansari is a member of parliament for Etiwa constituency, Eastern region. And she will be casting her vote, no doubt, for Alan Chermati. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Okaikwe Central constituency. My good friend, Patrick Boama. Patrick Boama will be casting his vote for Alan Chermati. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Uh, Hoi Hoi constituency, Volta region, John Peter Mehu, and no doubt, no doubt, John Peter Mehu will be casting his vote for Alan Chermati. Okay, uh, next one is Tema West constituency, and we are dealing with 137 members of parliament. And I'm telling you so far that these people are going to vote for Alan Chermati. One, Abena Osasai, Patrick Boama, two. Uh, John Peter Mehu, three, they're all going to vote for Alan Chamati. Carlos Ahinkra is going to vote for Alan Chamati. So I'm showing you the Alan Chamati votes, okay? Carlos was deputy to Alan, a trade minister. He, at trade, he liked the work Alan did. He's very enamored of Alan Chamati, and I believe that he's going to vote for him. We may be wrong, it's subjective, but this is the reason why we're saying Carlos, in particular, will vote for Alan. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Subi constituency is a, a Eugene Entry, my friend Eugene Entry. Well, Eugene Stone is a 50-50. Well, is it, it's a 60-40, I have to say. 60% of the research indicates to us that Eugene Entry is going to vote for Alan Chermatin. 40% of the research is telling us that Eugene is changing. And we are not sure how he's going to. But where is he changing towards? They think he's changing towards Dr. Baumia. So 40% Dr. Baumia, 60% Alan Chermatin. Eugene Entry, MP for Subin. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Ekropon constituency, Eastern Region, uh, Mamidokuya is, we believe, going to vote for Alan Chermatin as well. 
uh, and then you have um, Asoka constituency MP uh, Patricia Apieje, our mother Patricia Apieje from Asoka is also going to vote for Alan Chemati. Mind you, we are dealing with 137 and we are isolating those that we think from our research will surely go for Alan Chemati. Okay, so that's uh, Patricia Apieje. Uh, in price to constituency MP Eastern Region, we think he will also vote for Alan Chemati. Okay, let's move on. And then we have Lambusi constituency Upper West Region. Uh, Bright uh, Baki Yelvi Baliji. We believe that he will also vote for Alan Chemati. Oh, okay. They, you may hear tomorrow them saying that, what did Paul Adamachi say? I, my vote is secret. I have not decided who I'm going to... You may hear all of those things coming up. But we know what we have seen and we are guessing that they will vote for Alan Chemati. Of course, he, uh, English Amal, he comes on Good Morning Ghana all the time. I watch him in the morning on Good Morning Ghana. He talks for Alan Chemati. So on the basis of that, we know that 100% his vote is for Alan. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Cynthia Morrison. Central region, Aguna West constituency, we suspect that he will also vote for Alan Chamati. All right, then we have uh, Anyasu Utum constituency, Greater Accra. Uh, we suspect that he will also vote for uh, Alan Chamati. And then Takwa Nswayim MP, Western region, this is Deputy Minister of Lands, uh, Duka, Mreku Duka. Um, we believe that he will also vote for Alan Chamati. Okay, then um, we have Alexander Fenyo Markin. That's the interesting bit. So our research on Alexander Fenyo Markin told us that Alexander Fenyo Markin is an establishment boy. No doubt about it. He's very close relations with the center, with Jubilee. Very, very close relations with Dr. Baumi and all that. But they are suggesting to us that not that he thinks Kennedy Japan will win. No. Not that he wants Kennedy Japan to be presidential candidate as such. Maybe no. But he has this tie with Kennedy Japan that people think it will be really incongruous if Afenio Markin's one single vote out of 137, that he will not give it to Kennedy Japan, even though everybody knows where he's. So he, Afenio Markin is, the suspicion is that his mind is different from his heart. And I don't know where the mind is and where the heart is, but it's a 50-50 between Kennedy Japan and Dr. Baumia. That's, that's, what, that's what we are finding out for Alexander Afenio Markin. Is that not interesting? That, that sounds like very, very interesting. At 25 minutes to the top of that, at 10 o'clock, that's what is happening. And then Kennedy Japan himself will vote for Kennedy Japan. We know that already. He's a member of parliament, so he'll vote for Kennedy Japan. Uh, is there any other one? Uh, this is uh, Abura Asebu Kwaman constituency in the central region. We think that he'll also vote for Kennedy Japan. That's what we are picking up, and we're dealing with 137 members of parliament. Uh, and then also Tano North constituency. This is um, uh, the lady who is now a sanitation. This is Frida Prempe. Oh, I needed the names, so the names are not here. I need the names. Frida Prempe will also um, vote for, uh, well, well, I was going to do this uh, analysis last Thursday. And then I had Frida Prempe clearly going towards, it's a Kennedy in Japan, I think. But um, having been made minister for sanitation right now, uh, people are suggesting to us that she just might change and go along with what people are saying in parliament. Most of the 137, we understand, are going to vote for Dr. Baumia anyway. Most of the 137 MPs are going to vote for Dr. Baumia, except these 13 or 14 that we're isolating, that our research is telling us that they may not vote for Dr. Baumia. Now, it is good for the MPP in terms of the diversity. And, and uh, people have talked about how uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, finger-pointing, and punishment for people who sort of go away from the center. It looks like the MPP center and the MPP soul is thinking Dr. Baumia at least has a philosophy that is being shared by some of their elders. Um, but those who do not support Dr. Baumia are going about their work. Now, if you go all the way uh, to the front where you have a deputy minister of finance, uh, Abna Osasari, who is a deputy minister of finance. She was with Ken Oferata at the uh, budget presentation the other day. But she also attended the walk for Alan Martin. I believe that for people in the MPP, they shouldn't see that as a negative. That's a big plus, really. It shows the diversity in the party. Nobody's harassing anybody. And when I was talking about this, somebody told me that, oh, you should have been at uh, uh, Piduasi the other day. President Akufado was teasing uh, John Peter Mewu. And he said, JP, you are here. You are supporting Alan Martin. Has anybody done anything to you? 
And I heard Peter Mewe was laughing and said, Mr. President, no, no, no. And I hear JP told Mr. President, Mr. President, you also have to come on board and support Alain Chamati because he's going to win. Apparently, that erupted a lot of laughter at Peduasi and everybody was laughing. And the president said, no problem. You have more convincing to do for me and your colleagues. But JP is Alain Chamati. He sits in the cabinet. There's no problem. The president points out to him. He points back to the president that you should support our campaign. And everybody is laughing. That's a spirit of diversity. And that's working. Look at Alexander Fenyo Markin. He has a relationship with Kennedy Japan. He's not going to diss Kennedy Japan. I mean, maybe he will not. Uh, but uh, there are 137 votes up for grabs if, if he decides to show his loyalty by selecting Kennedy Japan for the process. That he's done his loyalty to his friend. So, so I, I, I like that. But not everyone likes that. But I like that. I think that it's creating diversity. If all our political parties should allow people to have a freedom of expression within internal party politics, it's not, it's not a problem. If I think that I'm in the party and I think Alan Chamartin will, will win or he should win or he should be the elected candidate, it shouldn't mean that the president should not make me a minister. That is why people know that Frida Prempe is not on the Baumia bandwagon. And I'm sure people went to the president when he was appointing her as sanitation minister and said that, but why are you appointing her? He's not a Baumia person. Mr. President must have said, that's not the point. That's not the point. I mean, she can do the work, so put her there. John Peter Mewu is minister for railways. Nobody has sacked him. You know, people thought that, oh, once you show your face for another candidate, they'll sack you. I have to credit Akufado for that kind of tolerance. Often people say many things about Akufado, but you have to credit him for that kind of tolerance. Whereas he has announced that he's not supporting any candidate, he is not looking for anybody to punish because he supports one candidate or the other. Kennedy Japan is, is a parliament. He still goes for meetings <laughs> and all of that. So this is our take. It's quite interesting and quite controversial, isn't it? Yeah, this is Frida Prempe I was talking to you about. Now, here's Akwesi Akwa as well. Akwesi Akwa too, they said to us that uh, Akwesi Akwa is the honorable member of parliament for Akimoda. But those of you who remember Akwesi Akwa, he's, he was the eternal producer of Kwame Sefaka and uh, Kukuru Kuon. Peace FM's morning show. That's Akwesi Akwa. He produced, uh, Sefaka made him quite popular because every morning he would say, Akwesi Akwa, Akwesi Akwa, and all of that. And everybody got to know him. Uh, but he's a very diligent, hard, hard, very, very hard working guy. And I'm sure that Peace FM missed him when he left the production of Kukuroko. And now he's a member of parliament for Akimoda. There are suspicions on whether he stands with Dr. Baumia or he stands with Alan Chamati or he stands with Kennedy Japan. It's not quite clear. So that's why we put him here. We don't know uh, where he's going to go. Maybe if I call Safaka tomorrow and say that, Akwesi Akwa, your man, where is he voting? He might tell me. Uh, but, but this is the story of the MPP event occurring, uh, occurring uh, on, on the 6th of August. And then there's Joe Gatte, who is also one of the 137 members of parliament, Whose vote is going to himself? Joseph Gatti, the former Attorney General and Railway Minister, will be voting for himself. So he's one of those votes that you cannot count in the Baumia vote. So there's 137 votes up for grabs in Parliament among the 800 and something. And we are telling you that not all the 137 are going the same way. And we are showing you what we think are the differences that we can talk about now. There may be more differences occurring before the 26th. There may be less. The lobbying is still going on. The campaigning is still going on. People are talking to people. So you may find that some things will change. But this one is not going to change. Joe Gatti will vote for Joe Gatti. He's a member of parliament for Sicardo constituency. Very good friend of mine. Uh, Uncle Joe, if I had a vote, maybe I'll think about him. But Joe Gatti is voting for Joe Gatti. Kennedy Japan is voting for Kennedy Japan. MCF4 in Samnina SC, in Penny for Boo Baby said, Ya Daya, Kosu Yani Pitri. Aha, eh, a prison multimedia. When you go so sha, now me say, I can't know what the mouth, so I will best subscribe. Yeah, the video to my way, the first person I will submit me as a video mo. Now, so so I will your mamba pan, wait to me, I will air coso, I will own my mo. Like, I didn't show me so honor per se, uja, fatal comment section, mo. Eddie Bako pen of a frame, make, major so. Missy hat, damunina, mwase, mamunitia, ye jimmy, enyado.